Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Welcome to the Soap Series. This is your host, Douglas, and my co-host and sidekick, Pam. Pam, welcome tonight. Thank you, Doug. And what's with really... Douglas? Oh, I don't know. I just decided <laughs> to be... I just felt like being professional. You said you need to be professional, so I was like, okay, I'll just use Douglas. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, listeners, for joining us tonight. We have a treat for you. We have Fanola Hughes on the phone. Welcome, Fanola. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello, Douglas. <laughs> hey, he always yeah. goes by Doug, and then all of a sudden yes, he flips sure. in the Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pam. Hi. It's a pleasure having you with us today. We have Thank you. so many people in the chat room listening, and they all said hello. Oh, hi, chat room. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for uh, for coming on our show. Uh, we've been doing this sure. for about four or five months now. Uh, Pam and I okay, great. teamed up together to help bring passion and show the passion of soaps and the fans how much we love the soaps and uh we thought we would uh, see if we can bring the soap stars to the the fans, and we've uh, done we've done really well. We started out with CBS shows, and then, then we are slowly bringing in the um, General Hospital and Days of Our Lives now, and just, just we're just building the soap nation. So um, we're we're just gonna we're not gonna let anybody else leave the network. Great soap nation yeah. it so, is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. first and foremost, <laughs> congratulations on General Hospital being. Uh, renewed, uh, extended. So we're very, very happy yeah. about that, right, Pam? Yes, yes. I'm ecstatic, especially since I, I watched all the ABC soaps for as long as I can remember, and losing two of them is very heartbreaking. And believe me, the fight's not over for that. But we are fighting very hard to keep General Hospital. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, it was really heartening and fabulous to hear that we were. We've been, you know, we're staying for at least another year. And, um, mm-hmm. but of course, you know, after I just signed a contract, it was fantastic. I was, uh, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, I'd have been walking around Burbank with a contract in my hand. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and nowhere to go. <laughs> yes, like they say, what good does that little paper do you? Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's great that we, we all get to play for a little longer and, um, yeah, I mean it's it's gotten pretty serious. So, uh and I and I think that Frank and Ron uh really take it seriously and they're really uh coming up with some fantastic stories to um keep everybody interested and and also so that the network sees that really it's a it's a fantastic show and um and it's viable and uh and should be kept on the airwaves. Exactly. It's it's definitely kept us on our toes since they both were brought on with all the storylines, and it's a faster-paced uh, show now, as well as seeing our beloved characters from back in the day back on our screens. I mean, that means so much to me. My gosh. Yeah, they're weaning us out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I love it. I really do. I mean, that was my my favorite time of GH was with you and Tristan and and Tony Geary and Jeannie Francis and all of them. So it's just wonderful. Even even Heather Weber. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> yes, that's uh, definitely uh, um, yeah. I, I think I called her mad as a bag of rats. Yeah, yeah I think she's pretty crazy. Um, but you know, I mean, the show is so uh, is so um, interesting, and the the characters that it has on there now, you know, all the the right. different um, the different facets of it, and and I think what um, what Frank and Ron have really tried to do is to cross everybody over, so that mm-hmm. there's not just you know you don't just have like the bad guys over here and and the hospital here, and and uh, they're they're really doing a great job of of everybody being intertwined. And um, you know, and I, and I think that that's what makes a fantastic show uh, across the board. You know, not just soaps, but I think in, right. in every um, genre is is the the relationships between all the characters and being mm-hmm. able to exploit that and, and explore it, and and um, <clears throat> you know, making surprising things happen between people and and everybody that you come in contact with on the show every time you you um 
uh, come across somebody else, a character that you might not have ever really played with before. You know, you have to have a relationship with them and you've got to come up with something and you've got to, you know, have a point of view. And I think that's really exciting because it means that um, just any anyone, you know, I could, I could play a scene with Kate, which I haven't even met yet, you know, and it would mm-hmm. be so interesting to see what, what Anna would think of Kate and vice versa. Um, or even, you know... Um, uh, some, some of the doctors at the hospital, just whatever. I mean, I think that that's what makes it, uh, a show really exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. Instead of just you know going into one couple or one storyline at a time, and well, everybody, you know, really... the, the, those wheels just keep turning, and they're the same old wheels. Whereas this mm-hmm. way, you sort of to, to continue the metaphor, the cogs kind of roll over into another wheel altogether, and then, then it becomes more interesting. Right. Um, so what's it like well, shacking up with Tony Geary? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have separate rooms. Not yeah. Happy now. <laughs> yeah, I love Tony. I've always adored Tony. He's 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 fantastic. He's a great great person. So it's really nice. Well, I'll have to, I can say that. I'll have to be really honest and tell you that I grew up with uh, CBS soaps. It was a generational thing with me as well as a lot of fans who, you know, grew up you know, whatever their grandmother and, and mother uh, was on, uh, that watched. So when I started this show um, with Pam, and Pam is a big ABC fan, fanatic, I said, okay, I'm going to watch I'm gonna watch General Hospital now, and I'm going to, you know, educate myself. So I'm, I'm a new fan, but I, now that I am a fan, okay. you are, you are okay. my, my favorite, favorite on there. I enjoy your scenes so much. And you're, you, you and um, – um, uh, Robin's character, who plays uh, Heather Weber, both just entertain me to death. Oh, I know. And the, and the, chemi- oh, and really? the chemistry between Gosh. you and Tony Geary, who plays Luke, is just so comical. There's there's so much comedy relief there mm-hmm. as well, and it's it's nice to see that in daytime as well. You know, not not all the psychos and twins and all these other stuff. It's nice to see comedy right. as well. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm a new fan, so I'm doing I'm going on YouTube okay. and watching some of the older stuff, so I can kind of get familiarized with it because I want to be a supporter all the way. You know. All the way through the okay, well then well. I'll I'll apologize for all my hairdos now. Then if you're going on on <laughs> yeah. YouTube, and looking at the old, yeah, because um, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, uh, yeah, they weren't uh, that bad. Oh. You were in style with everybody else, so you were okay. Oh God, I don't know. Yeah, it, it was the the poof that the hair poof that launched a thousand bride bride outfits. I think that that sort of poof that I used to wear on top of my head. I think yeah. brides across the, the the nation had their hair like that in the 80s. Um, I was going to say, but the CBS shows are so great too. I mean, you know, I have a lot of friends on those shows. Um, you know, um, obviously Susan Flannery on, mm-hmm. and um, and then hey, don't bring her in here out. And then that's right, it's my dog coming in, and. Um, uh, and then also with people, Michelle Stafford on on um, the YNR. So I yeah. love those shows too. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were friends with Michelle. I knew about Susan, but not. Uh, oh yeah, I did Michelle. a show with her. I did a show with her called um, uh, Pacific Palisades. Uh, it was a oh, I love show. That show. And we uh, became fast friends. She's a fabulous girl. She's fantastic. Yeah. So. I knew, I came across knowing who you were when um, in Staying Alive. So this goes way back mm-hmm. to the early 80s. Um, Not that far role. back. <laughs> just, a, just a couple of years. Um, <laughs> your, 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 your role as Laura was, was awesome. I was so glad they were able to, uh, you know, make a sequel to Saturday Night Fever. And, 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 and that's where I first came across, too. And I love that movie. It's, uh, um, you know, those two movies uh, back-to-back are really wonderful. How did that, uh, how, what was that like working with uh, John Travolta? Oh, that was great. He's a fantastic person, you know. He's a really class, real class act. Um, he was extremely kind to me uh, and sort of took me under his wing. You know, it was the first time I've been here to America. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I was playing the bitch. What's not to like about that? Fantastic. <laughs> and I actually had just finished, I think I was working with Andrew Lloyd Webber in London. And um, I, I had done Cats for him prior to that and then I had done a little movie and then I'd gone on and done a, a, and, and I was actually in his song and dance which was in the West End and <clears throat> they were auditioning for they thought of course the, the, the role of the, the bitchy girl should should be British 
So they were sort of coming over and seeing if there were any British girls uh, that they thought might fit the bill. And then I, I flew to um, Hollywood to audition uh, with John. And um, I mean, can you imagine? That was yeah, that was kind of mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, and and that was it, you know. And I got, I got that role. And um, and then I came back and stayed after that. Now, so were you I a like dancer that before then? Before oh yeah, the yeah. That's uh-huh, what I thought. Yeah, I'd I read been a dancer. Somewhere. Yeah, I'd been a dancer since I was about three, and uh, and I'd gone to one of those, you know, terrible uh, schools where. Everybody dances on the table at lunchtime. Like, not really, but, you know, it was like one of those. Yeah. And, uh, uh, like, Lee, yeah. I went to school, like, and so, um, yeah. And uh, so I've been dancing forever. Did you want to be a dancer or an actress or both? Or Yeah, I wanted to be a dancer at first. Um, but when I was at the, when I was in my you know, school, they, there's a point where you have to choose. Like, I think it was when we were 15, 16. You had to choose which side of the college you wanted to go into. You either went to the ballet side or, you know, modern dance or whatever, or you went into the acting. You, you know, you had to, you went to the, the drama side. And the drama teachers wanted me to go there. Well, there was one in particular. But um, I just felt if I didn't, do if I didn't dance first then I'd never get it out of my system so I sort of thought I I just have to do it now and then I went into a ballet company after you know when I grad when I left when I graduated you know three or four years later um so I went straight into a ballet company and I just always felt like I needed to do that first um because it was it made you know dancing is just such an amazing um feeling and it's an amazing you know dancers are just an incredible sort of species if you like and ballet dancers in particular um mm-hmm. they're just just so perfect and it was really hard for me to stay in that because that's it's too perfect for me and i you know i was a bit all over the place but um and then after that i went into musicals and you know blah 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 and and, and then actually i think it was andrew lloyd webber oh no it was uh, sorry it wasn't andrew lloyd webber it was it was trevor nunn um, he's the he used to be the director of uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company, and now I believe he's probably the um, I think um, the National. I think he might head up the National now in, in London. Um, and he gave each of the cat because he directed Cats, the the original cast in, in in London, and he gave each of us you know sort of a character to play. And I think the moment when I was like, oh my god, I, after this, I want to become I want to go into drama I want to I want to be an actress um, he gave just three words to describe a character he whispered them each into each of our ears and from those three words you had to build a character you had to make this cat I mean ostensibly we were you know making characters but they were mm-hmm. going to be cats <laughs> which is sort of ridiculous but um, anyway it, it was just that moment of thinking oh gosh, how interesting to sort of go into your head and make a character out of, you know, three words that sort of uh, sum up who you're going to be. The, this is the nucleus of, of what of what this person is going to be. And, and it was just really interesting. And, and I think from that moment on, I was like trying to figure out ways to to bring that more into my life. So, and then, you know. After that, and then it went from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've been very successful at everything you've done. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, thank you very much. You're welcome. And the, and the, the fanboy in me who loves Charmed was also very much uh, surprised when you joined the cast as the witch's mother. Um, that was mm. that had to be that had to be you know awesome and experience as well working with those three. Yeah. As, well, as that well. was all actually, but. Coming from Aaron Spelling, that was actually coming. Mm-hmm. I was that was after Pacific Palisades, and they'd worked with me. Mm-hmm. Um, we, 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 and that was, uh, I believe, um, one of his shows, or or, or somebody uh, was working on that show that had been on Pacific Palisades, and so they just asked me. They, they thought I looked like all three girls, the original three girls. Um, yeah. Uh, they thought that I sort of was like a culmination of all three of them. So, um, 
Yeah, and I wish I could have done more, but I went then to New York to do all my children, so it was kind of hard flying backwards and forwards. I think I might have done a few more had I not been in New York. Um, but I love that show. And the girls I did too. are fantastic. The girls yeah. were so great. They were just, they're just lovely, lovely girls. All of them, all four of them. And Rose, you know, I still see every now and again because she's a very smart girl, actually. They all are very, very smart. Really, really intelligent actors and women. Yeah, nice, great. And we still see them in a lot of things these days, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they they Yeah, I, I think they Rose should, is they fantastic. Should. Yes, she's really, yeah, she's quite something, Rose. So, uh, and I okay, have then, uh, some questions okay, from okay. Twitter. Okay, from Twitter, um, let's see. Okay. I have from Brandon Satranko, I think is how you say his name. What has it been like working with Michael Easton? He's great. I, I really enjoy Michael. He's he's a, uh, um, you know, the first day we met, um, I I just. Uh, we kind of hit it off. I, 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 you know, I didn't really, I didn't actually, I'd seen him on One Life to Live, but I didn't actually know um, how he worked. And, uh, but we've sort of hit this stride uh, mm-hmm. now, which, which I, I like. You know, he's very, he has a different rhythm, and he's, he's quite um, intense. And, uh, and then plus, you know, we sort of can find this dry sense of humor. I think. Plus, I think it's really interesting. It's a very. I use the word really a lot, don't I? I'm just <laughs> sort of seeing, realizing that now. Um, but he's got a very. Uh, I think it's a very interesting um, kind of relationship between the two of us. That you know, I'm sort of. I have been at times. I mean, Anna has been at times a mentor to him. Um, you know, do, doing his when he was a cadet, or uh, mm-hmm. I guess when he was um, in the bureau, and uh, and I like I like that relationship. I think it's very interesting. I think there's a lot of fodder there. He's definitely one of my favorites from One Life to Live. So I'm very happy yeah. to see him cross over. Yeah. Plus, he'd worked with my friend Ian. You know. Prior, oh yeah. They did Port Charles before. So. Yes. Yes. And I loved loved that soap as well. Yeah, I thought that was a great soap. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was great. Doug, did you have a question? Oh, well, I was just going to – I'm just – I'm reading the chat room as it goes, and they're typing so fast, I'm trying to keep up with them. They're all excited. <laughs> yeah, um, so fire but, away. Hit me, hit me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my first uh, day watching it was the day where we find out that Robin is really alive. So that was my first day oh. watching it about five weeks ago. Um, so – yeah, fan in here, um, I didn't catch the name, I think it's I Loves SSW, asked if 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 you if you're if you were watching it and you weren't in the show, who do you think has Robin, if that's something that you're able to sit, talk as a fan instead of an actress? You know, as who, a fan? Who you... Well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean I, I you know, I mean it's up for speculation who yeah. would have her. Um, I think that it would probably be something to do with something that I've done, you know, like some part of being in the bureau or being, you know, yeah, just doing whatever I've done out there in the world. So I think it's either for revenge or it's um, some wackadoodle. Um, yeah. I mean, I have my thoughts that. Mm-hmm. I want to leave that yeah. up to the fans. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I know from a lot of Facebook and Twitter and that, and we're all thinking the same thing, that it could be phase on, but we'll just leave <laughs> it at that. I think that would be, that would be yeah, it would be quite extraordinary if it was him, but yes. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to. I uh, mean, that was my first episode, so that was the the first you know big shock when I when I started watching it, and so I'm kind of thinking, okay, I have no idea because I don't know the backstory. But I mean, watching Pat, the character of Patrick and you, you know, grieve over this is just thinking, oh my gosh, uh, you know, you're yelling at the screen, going, she's alive, she's alive. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, because there was a lot of crying before that for the fans. Let me tell you, when we thought Robin mm-hmm. was gone, and and the the sympathy that we have, and the empathy that we have for you, and for Robert, and for Patrick, and even little Emma. You know, it's just it's you. E- even though you know it's a, a TV show, you know those are your characters. That's your family. You oh, know? I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, 
Yeah, and Kimberly oh. is, is was such a, a an amazing part of the show for so mm-hmm. many years, and she's just uh, she's a lovely young woman. So. I'm glad they never took another actress and aged, you know, when they right. aged Robin. They kept her from the beginning, and I love yeah. that. Mm. So, uh, she's so um, good. another question I have from Alicia Benson. She says, how much ad-libbing goes on between you and Tony Geary when you work together? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm kind of used to doing that. I kind of like doing that. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, little bits here and there. And uh, plus, we, you know, we, we, we usually we usually sort of pass it by people and make sure that they're okay with it. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely bits and pieces in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's good at that. I like doing it, too. I like doing it, too. Go ahead, Doug. Oh, okay. Um, there's just so many people going through. Um so if you could if you could write your own storyline for Anna, what would you like Anna to get involved with that you haven't been that, that Anna hasn't been involved with? Um you know, something different I think that I she quite, hasn't I quite, I quite like to get involved with Alexis. I think I'd like um there to be some sort of you know, um I don't know, if we, we were just kind of hanging out talking about different things or I could give her advice on something or you know um, I'd love to work with Nancy. Uh, I, I think she's awesome, and I would love to work with her. Um, so, yes, that I quite would enjoy. Um, and uh, you know, I really, I, I do enjoy working with um, Jason, uh, with with you know my my son-in-law, I guess, Patrick. Um, Patrick. I, I I enjoy working with him. So. Um, Whatever kind of stories that that would that could entail, and I love working with Tony and and Michael. Um, so uh, yeah, it's all yeah. I think that it would be nice to to get some girl um, power going on. And plus, um, you know, Christina uh, Felicia is is back. I don't know if she's even yeah. back on the show yet. Has she come? No. When did she? She hasn't aired yet. No. Mm-mm. Oh, she hasn't. Okay. No. Um, that would be also. Uh, you know, because we were good friends before mm-hmm. uh, our characters. Oh, so she hasn't aired yet. When does she air? <laughs> I'm not fun. sure, but we know she's <laughs> coming back. So <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, I've missed Christina as well. She was always so good on there, and we're hoping that since Jack Wagner is available now, that you know maybe he can come back on too as Frisco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, I watched him on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, I'm just sad that he didn't last longer. I wanted mm. him to win. Yeah. It, uh, that's an interesting uh, idea. Would you ever think about going on Dancing with the Stars since you have a, you know, a, uh, that's a passion of yours? Oh, I think they prefer people that don't have a dance background, probably. Um, but I just would find it hard to be so nice to everybody. <laughs> all that winning, you know, and all that makeup, and it's just, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure that that's me. <laughs> yeah, there's because I was actually watching some of it last night, and everyone's so happy. It's uh, mm. <laughs> anyway. Well, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes either. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess in front of the cameras, yeah, everybody looks so gleeful. Mhm. I uh, have another question from Red Robin. She said. Uh, what do you consider to be your greatest accomplishment career-wise and also personally? Well, um, personally, um, I don't know if it's even an accomplishment, but um, I take great pride in, in, um, you know, my family. Mm -hmm. Um, I take, you know, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's something that I'm, extremely I don't even know if proud's the word of it. it's just it's very uh, you know it's it's um it's, it's your family there's the pride my family. And, I mean there's nothing pride else and love and, and, yeah, yeah and I mean, I'll understand that <laughs> yeah and I, and I think you do yes and I'm sure you do and then um professionally um well pr- 
proud of? Um, you know, uh, I think I'm very much sort of, hmm, it's hard to say, uh, greatest accomplishment. I don't know. I think just managing to continue to work, I think, is nice and is, is uh, you know, it's not easy uh, once you get, you know, I mean, there's, there's, there's all sorts of schools of thought about um, uh, different types of work and trying to cross over. You know, I was in a, I've done so many different things. I think probably I'd like to say that that's um, an accomplishment that I'm proud of is that I've managed to do at this point so many different things. Mm-hmm. Um, perhaps not well sometimes, but sometimes, you know, to a, a greater or lesser degree, some sort of success. I've done so many different things, you know, theater and dance and um, and soaps and movies and television and nighttime. And, you know, there's there's an awful lot of different things that I've done. Hello. I've, my little girl's just come. She's all fresh from a bath. And she's ah. whis- whispering in my ear. So now everybody's <laughs> going to hear what she's whispering. <laughs> yes. Hold on a second. I'm just on the phone. Can you wait a minute? Uh, my nail came off. Oh, your nail came off. Oh, okay. I'll I'll come and paint it on again. I will. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to find purple nail polish now, but anyway. <laughs> in the bath. In the bath. Okay. All right. Go on. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, <laughs> I've got. Does she speak with an accent? Yeah. Sorry, she doesn't have an accent. No, she's no? totally okay. American. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It was just I just heard a little voice, so it was hard to to hear if she spoke yeah. with an accent. No, all, they're all three of them American. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, how hard was it to play, uh, you know, the twins on All My Children? Oh, that was hard. Yeah, that was hard. Uh, yeah, it was really. Yeah, I, I don't know. Some people do it very well. I'm not sure that I did it very well, but um, yeah, I mean, it was. Yes, you did. Whatever. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no, what was it like off. working with Vincent Irizarry, though? Oh, I, lo- I I love Vincent. Yeah, he's great. He's awesome. He's very cool. And and um, <clears throat> yeah, we it was it was a good matching of characters. I think at that point, you know, yeah. um, uh, he's he was kind of edgy and dark, very dark. Um, and um, and his character had made a lot of mistakes which always works well with Anna, Anna's mm-hmm. character. And my character was just so itchy at that point, you know, that I was on All My Children, very sort of, you know, <clears throat> kind of um, sort of anxious and not knowing where she fit in and, you know, was ha- having trouble. And um, so I, I think that uh, it was a good matching of, of the two different characters. Yeah, I love them together. You guys made a great couple, and it was sad to see that break up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think I, I I had to leave. I was leaving to come back to L.A. Yeah. Well, we're just grateful that we have you back on GH. No, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Is there, you, ever you a possibil- a, a, is there ever a possibility that the twin could uh, come over to General Hospital in the future? Or Oh, God, I, I think I'd hang myself. <laughs> 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 I don't know. She's She's supposed to be in Budapest. I think Alex went somewhere with Dimitri. Yeah, um, I think so, yeah. too, if I remember yeah. correctly. I was very relieved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you do with your daytime Emmy? Do you have it displayed anywhere? Yes, I do. I have it in our bookcase. Um, we have this uh, sort of big bookcase with, you know, all various different books, and there's some... Um, uh, ornaments and bits and pieces and things we've collected from around the world and um and Miami's there yeah <laughs> now do you uh like to do you split your time between going to England and and America or do you mainly stay here we stay here yeah we stay here we we go and visit uh in the holidays in va- vacation time we go we go abroad, uh, we go over to Europe but yeah we we stay here and that's why your British children too. talk with the American accent, then. Well, yes, because they're, yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> they're not there long enough. Um, I know my husband's British too, and he's even oh, more he's... British than me. I mean, he he really sounds English. 
So. Yeah, it's amazing that um, that's my favorite accent. Believe it or not, is the it, British is it? accent. Where are you yes. from, actually? Where's your I'm, accent? I'm from Chicago. Oh, Chicago. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, and Doug is in Indiana. Okay. So, and I'm amazed to always hear the different types of British accents. But then, I, when I think about it, if you're in New York, you hear a lot of different accents there for the people that were born there, depending on whether you're in Manhattan or you're in the Bronx or something. So I guess it makes sense, too, in England. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a, well, and if you think about America, there's just so many different accents across mm-hmm. America. But it, it's, it's quite strange that a country as small as England would have as many accents as it does and as many areas as it does, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, my husband's from the north of England. But as we say, are we those the what, are the people in the north? Do they sound like, um, oh my gosh, Colin Firth? No, not really. Well, I don't know where he's from. Because I'm he's, trying to think like, about it. I know a, a few, quite a few different bands from the UK, and I yeah. always say, well, where's that one from, and where's that one from? To my friend that lives in the he UK. He sounds. So, if, if you were, if you were to listen, he doesn't actually speak like that now. Um, mm-hmm. But if it, my husband, that is. Um, if you ever listen to the people from from Arctic Monkeys, the band Arctic Monkeys, my yeah. husband's kind of from has that kind of accent. Oh, okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I love it. Whether it's a man or a woman, there's just something about the accent that I just I love it. Yeah. Cool. It's strange. Well, I know. <laughs> no, no. It's we always like what we don't, you know, that we're not accustomed to or that we don't have, and. You know, and 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 I'm the same way. I love the you know the British accents, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. you know we had uh, we had Ian Buchanan on our show uh, last month, and it was just a Did pleasure you? to spend an hour with him. And 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 I know he's great, and he's, he's got a great so accent. And he's so yes, he is so <laughs> funny. Oh my gosh, we laughed the whole time. Mm-hmm. I know he's really wicked, he's very <laughs> wicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, well, should, go- you see some of his tweets going by. <laughs> oh, oh, I so know. Funny. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Well, we have a lot of callers on hold, so I'll go ahead and uh, okay. take some callers because uh, they, yes, they're, uh, they're, they're, that's why we do this for, is to bring you guys close to the fans. So uh, okay. first up is Pam. Uh, this is another Pam. Her name's Pam Rogers. And Pam, you're on with Finola. Hi, Finola. How are you tonight? I'm good, Pam. How are you? I have enjoyed everything that you've been. I have seen everything. Um, my question oh. for you is, did you do you have a favorite storyline that you were in on General Hospital? Um, I I think well you know quite an exciting storyline I think was obviously when Robin was kidnapped way back. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think that was quite exciting because there was lots of you know fighting and um, kind of uh, general you know sleuthing going on and and I think that was that was fun to do yeah. Uh, and actually, uh, another funny storyline, I must say, <coughs> excuse me, was um, the one, uh, the, the, the alien storyline. As crazy as it was and as ridiculous as it was, it actually <laughs> turned out to be kind of funny and sort of funny to do. Um, you know, and there was actually some moments in there which I quite enjoyed, even though it was so strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. One quick question: Is there anybody from like back in the day from the show that you hang out with on a regular basis? Well, uh, yeah, my friend Ian. I'm still okay. very good friends with Ian, and that's definitely that's back cool. in the day. So, yeah. so don't tell him that. <laughs> He'd like to think otherwise, but. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I enjoy nice watching you on TH for a long time. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Pam. Thank, Thank you. So you. Bye bye. Thank you, Pam. Bye bye. Okay. All right. And next up I have a blocked call, so I don't know who this is and or the area. Oh code, my god. Hopefully we I uh, hopefully we can get them on the line. Uh you're on with Anola, go ahead. Hello. Uh oh. Oh no, like I know who this is. is. <laughs> kidding me. What are you doing? I just Hello? I literally I literally just got in from work and I, I told Pam I'd call in and, and uh Say Harassing. hello. No, I was going to say, well, you know, if you don't return people's phone calls, you ha- I have to get you somehow. So, hello. <laughs> oh God, I know. Did you call me? When did you call me? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I gave up calling you. I don't know. I probably I, I don't know, know when I last called you. How are you, Pam? Oh. Hi, Doug. How are you guys? Hi. Hello. Ian. Hello. 
I'm glad so you got I was my just, message. I, was just, I think I was just saying that you're older than me. <laughs> am I? Oh, I am now, though. No, I am now, definitely. I, 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 I wasn't before. No, <laughs> you've surpassed me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got, I, I, I got a little. I, I got to be forty-three for three years, if you remember, and I think. And now me I, too. Yeah, so now I've kind of—I don't know where I am actually, but. Um, it's like my my when my husband's ever asked um, how old he is, he says he looks at me. He goes, "I don't know. I'm a year older than Finola, but I'm not sure what the last lie was." Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny because my my siblings always say the same thing. They they have no clue. They have no idea how old they are anymore because it's all based upon me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all lie. <laughs> I so think you just, you just pretty much all do that, especially women, because if somebody asks me my age, I have to think about when I was born and what year it is, and then I subtract a little ten or twenty from that. <laughs> oh, good. That's a, I know. <laughs> But then, then I guess at a certain point, it's got to start going the other way. That that you start sort of saying that you're older than you are, so that you you look you look good. Better. Yeah, I yeah. think that's really yeah, clever right. when people do that. I think it's really clever yeah. when. Uh, oh, I was about to say something. I'm not. So <laughs> <laughs> give yourself away. God. <laughs> this is a slippery slope, Ian. <laughs> yes, I knew. I knew, and I'm going to. Be, I've been very well behaved. Uh, <laughs> Well, I just so you just got back. Are, are you, where right. are you? Are you in town or at home? Yeah, no, I'm. I'm. In, I'm at home actually. I've got to drive down first thing in the morning oh, to go cool. to work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in my, my bedroom, hiding. Oh, hiding! <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't, like, it's funny. It's, you can't. You can't be on the radio and also have like have intimate people around you. It's ridiculous. No, well, Sadie <laughs> just came in and told me that I have to redo her manicure. So. Oh God! Uh, oh, how yeah, funny. Yeah. Well, oh, I think Ian should drive over there and do it, so. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll drive over there and do the manicure, yeah. So on both counts, ain't going to happen. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, have, a, have, a, have a wonderful uh, rest of uh, the visit on the radio. It's great fun. Okay. I don't know. I'm, probably, I, I'm, uh, I'm doing another one. I'm, I'm not doing another one soon or something. Wasn't, wasn't, are you going to do one with Lauren or? We're what? definitely going to have you back sometime. Yeah. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Yes. 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 They haven't. And, and, they and, haven't invited you back yet, Ian. Yeah. Oh, yes, they have. Yes, they have. <laughs> yes, yeah. we did. <laughs> yes, oh, they have. Funny. It's funny. You could uh, almost like do one of these every single night. Every night. Could be either on. You could be either on Twitter or it'd be on just chatting away. Like it's it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I know, right? The fans in the chat room say, could you please be Anna and Duke for just a moment? Oh, my oh God. Oh, God, I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I don't even, I don't even, no. oh, my gosh, I don't know. I don't know what that is, actually, now. Oh. What is that? I, I, I love you, Anna. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, surprised that's 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 I, I, I'm surprised I wasn't subtitled the first year. Yeah. With that. <laughs> no. With the accent. <laughs> With the accent. The ac- oh, accent. I, your accent. Oh, Anna. Anna, oh, Anna. I, I wasn't that bad. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understood you. Yeah. And that, well, we counted. understood each other, so that was. I think that's why it worked. <laughs> yeah, we did. It was fun. I enjoyed that. We had we had a great time. Yes, we did. We certainly did. It was wonderful. Yeah. Do you well, remember when we went out in the snow? Do you remember that whole snow thing? And um, we were in oh. the snow, and you were you decided that your ears were cold, and you wanted to wear that hairband. Do you remember the? It was a woolen hairband. Right. I don't know where the story is leading, but I'll go along with it. Yes. No, when we were you, when you were you were searching for me. Oh, All right, in Big Bear. Right. In Big Bear, remember? Yeah. No, we yes. you, yeah. Did we shoot that in Big Bear? It was Big Bear, yeah. Oh right, and was Tr- was Tristan searching? For too? Um, I think he's. I don't know. He was acting like it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> he was and you had like that he big was woman. He was always like just, adventurous, searching. I just remember you had that big woolen thing around your head. Maybe it was just when we weren't shooting. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm sure they're But I remember that. I remember that storyline. Yeah, that was well. that was fun. That was fun too. Yeah. That was fun. Mount Rushmore was fun. I liked that one as well. 
Oh, Mount Rushmore. God, that was weird. I know. Very weird. Yeah, that, that was a weird storyline. Gosh, that's when we used to go on... Um, you know, Remote, so you used to call them. Yes, it was fantastic. Well, when you well, do movies, that? they call them location. When you do soap operas, they call them remotes because they've got remotely nothing whatsoever to do with anybody's life or the storyline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so remote and so disconnected from everything else. It's like it was like when Duke, Duke and Anna, like when all else failed, they tango. Do you remember that we used to say to each yes. other? Why are we tangoing? There's people <laughs> shooting at us. People have burnt down the house, and suddenly they look at each other and. The tango music starts and they start to tango. We were like, don't make us do this. This is ridiculous. Hey, you know, when Rome is burning, I say yeah. tango. Tango, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> These two are just too funny. <laughs> well, on, on, that, right. on that funny note, I'm going to go. I'm going to go off and, and okay. rustle up some, some food. Lovely talking to everybody. Thank, Thank you, you for calling, much. Ian. Okay. Absolutely. Lots of love. Bye. Okay. Lots of we'll, love. We'll talk to you bye. soon. Love. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys set me up. No, no he, not at well, all. Ki- kind of, but kind of not. But Ian kind of actually not. messaged me and said, "Let me know when Finella's on, and okay. I'll call in." Perfect. So that's what happened. So he did. Okay. He did. <laughs> Yeah, and I and I figured how the number popped up that it was probably it was probably him, so I wanted to bring him on right away. So we'll just move on now to okay. uh, Mel- Melissa. Uh, Melissa, you're on with Finola. Go ahead. Hey, Finola, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Melissa. How are you? Good. I just have a question. Would you be be friend Anna or no? Like, would you be friends with her if she was a person in real life? Oh yeah, I think I'd really like to be friends with her. I think that. You know, I would just like her strength and, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it would be cool. That's an interesting question, actually. I've never been asked that. I think that's a really good question. Um, but, you know, also I think there'd be a lot about her that would scare me a little bit, you know, like all the things like that she could do. Well, like the fact that she's, you know, she's probably a pretty good marksman and she's, mm-hmm. you know, she's been she's been out there doing all these kind of crazy things. Um I think that would be a bit intimidating, but um, yeah. I, but I think I you just wouldn't want to tick her off. That's all. Yeah, I guess that would be the point. Yeah, I guess that would be the point. Yeah. Do you have a memorable, a memorable moment on set between you and Kimberly? With me and Kimberly, a memorable moment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think um, there's one. Well. There, gosh, there's been a lot of scenes that I've had with Kimberly over the years. Um, I think uh, one w- one memorable one um, was when we were just starting this new phase with her when she was turning into a teenager. Mm-hmm. And Anna's character was a pretty poor cook. And I think that there was this sort of weird argument that happened over breakfast. And I just remember thinking... You know, I really enjoy this character, this this kind of direction that we're going in. Like, you know, as she became this sort of troublesome teenager, and then um, I also think there was a scene when I went back. Um, I think I was a dream um, when she had discovered that she was HIV. Right, I was I, watching that on YouTube. Okay, well, I believe both. You know, Tristan and I came back um, to comfort her, and I, I enjoyed that scene it was lovely to you know connect with her and i think it was um and she was just so extraordinary at that point you know as she kimberly had already grown to such a a wonderful actress and um it was kind of you know she makes me very proud anyway for, for her accomplishments and the way that she's grown as an actress and as a person yeah well, so melissa you, out of curiosity how old are you me, I'm 27. I'm going to be 27 Oh, me. Day. Oh, oh. How old are you? Yes, how old are you? Me? Yeah. yeah. Melissa. I'm 27. You're 27? Okay. So yeah. you've only been watching, like, some of that older stuff from just Right, on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I started to watch it in uh, 1999, I believe. So, yeah. Okay. I've okay. been watching so it for a while. Okay. Cool. So. Well, thanks for asking my years. questions, though. Yes, thank you for asking them. Thank Have you, Melissa. I appreciate your call. Thank Bye. you. 
Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I had to ask because they always say just the old people and moo-moos watch the soaps, and I know better right, than that. Right, that's so, so sweet. I know. She's so <laughs> lovely. So sweet. <laughs> All right. Up next is area code 208. You're on with Fanola. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Ms. Hughes. How are you doing this evening? Hi, Dan. I'm good. Thank you. Um, well, I'm glad to be on, and uh, I should mention that Pam and I happen to uh, be Twitter friends, and I know she has the show, and I hadn't called in before, but when I found out you were going to be on, I figured that would be a good time to do so, because um, I know you better from Charmed than from any of the soap operas you've done. That was the first exposure I had to you, and uh, I became a fan of all my children after I have ironically enough, after the show wrapped up. I was curious about it because of the hype of the show ending, and I went to YouTube, checked out some stuff, came across you and Mr. Nerozeri, and I thought it was pretty good, which leads to my next question. Who is, uh, who, what was the story behind you coming to All My Children? Because I know there were crossovers between Soap Opera and Soap before, but what was the idea for to have Anna go to Pine Valley? Um, well, I first of all went onto the show as Alex, who was um, a neurologist that was treating Dimitri oh. Marek um, when he ha- he I guess he had some um, kind of brain something going on um, I've forgotten now what it was um, so I I have been treating him and so um, that's that's what brought me to all my children um, was a character Alex and uh, and I stayed as Alex for about a year, if not a little bit longer. And then they decided that they had to answer this question that everybody was asking about, is she Anna, is she Alex? What's the truth? Um, and they decided to answer it by bringing a twin on. And that was Anna. Okay, okay cool, cool. Um, I know there's not a lot of time, but I did have a follow-up question about that. This, this uh, Anna's stint on AMC was during the period in which Robin thought that both her parents were dead. And what I wanted to yeah. ask you was um, the scene where Robin sees you, first thinking that she's hallucinating, and then when she realizes that you, in fact, are alive and she collapses in front of you, uh, what was the emotions like filming that? Huge. Huge, yeah, because it was Kimberly, you know, and it was the first time that Anna and Robin had been back together. And for her to find out that, you know, her mother was alive, um, it was big. It was, you know, and they they sort of, um, they just wanted to do uh, that kind of um, run to each other almost that, that we had done many years ago when I had found her in the, when we were doing the story where she'd been kidnapped. Yeah, I, it was. I, it was. A, I saw, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can understand that. I saw that on YouTube along with some clip of Tristan Rogers shirtless, backed up against the column, hands tied up. Well, you're wearing stilettos and you're pulling <laughs> on the rope. As she, no, as right. She That's when I tied him up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. And that, and I'm and I'm looking at this now. Like I said, I only became I became an AMC fan after the show ended. I only recently watched GH uh, starting back in uh, in January. But I'm seeing that and I'm thinking. Okay, we have genuine bondage on daytime television. The stuff you guys got away with back in the 80s was amazing. Yes, we did get away with it a lot more. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But one thing but one thing hasn't changed. You're just as hot now as you were back then. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. That's very nice. And, uh, thank you. I want to go ahead and go. Thank you very much for letting okay. me on and uh you continue to uh, have so much good work on GH, which I think is not just the best soap opera, but I think General Hospital is simply the best show on television. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks, Sam. Thank it was you. nice hearing from you. Cool. You too. All okay. Right. Is there another? Is there another? Um, there there yeah. more? Yeah, okay, we got a couple more. Like it's fun. Yep. Oh yeah, I like them too. They're, it's neat to see the difference to be able to, to you know connect with the fans. Um, area code 305, you're on with Fanola. Go ahead. Hello, Fanola to Aurora. How are you? Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know, it's Streisand's birthday, so I'm celebrating. Uh, Whose birthday is it? Oh, Streisand. Yes, of course. Why didn't I send you? A, oh, I should have sent you a message this morning. I forgot. Yes. Oh, okay. so that's okay. 
So I I wanted to say that I'm really enjoying the Luke and Anna scenes. Um, do you know if Anna's going to be getting a job at in Port Charles? Anything you know, like police chief or anything like that, PI or? I don't know. She needs she needs a job. You know, <laughs> she can't stay there forever uh, without. But I don't know what's going to happen. What the what uh, right now? I think you know. Um, I'm just st- that Anna's still recovering, probably. But um, yeah. I don't know what she's going to do. I think you need to work in the restaurant because you've been eating a lot. <laughs> I have. <laughs> and milkshakes going on you. Yeah. God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, she wouldn't be very good at working in the restaurant. No. <laughs> Not at all. So you're enjoying the Luke and Anna, yeah? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm enjoying the show a lot, too. Um, mostly it's great, Heather and it? Trace. Yes, yes. I mean, and still everybody too much and, and Jason, um, but... <laughs> but. And what 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 happened today on the show? What 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 was occurring today? Uh, today you know? is when yeah. Sunny finds out Kate slept with uh, Johnny. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Not a good day for Sunny. Fireworks. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I should yeah. say not a good day for Johnny either. And uh, and Kate. Nope. <laughs> no. No. Or the Connie. Mhm. Oh right. Exactly. Oh, I bet, yeah. Mm. All right. I remember those scenes. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Thanks yeah. for calling. I so call it's nice to hear your voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Rora. Take care. Bye. 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 Oh, that's funny. Area code 818. I think that's in your neck of the woods. It is, uh, you're yeah, on with, that's in it's, the valley. It's, it's, um, it's, you're on with Sonola. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, but uh, this is um, hi Pam. It's Elizabeth Piggies on uh, Twitter. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I'm just calling in to say how much I love Vanola, <laughs> and um, I'm actually friends with Nancy as well. So it's awesome to hear that you really like to work with her. A um, couple of us on Twitter are definitely trying to get Alexis and Anna together. Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> That I know, fun, I know. Right? I know, and she loves you too. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, I, that that's would, totally fun. Yeah. I think, I think it would be, be great, great for them to all go out with the girl time with Diane when they go to the bar. I know. What I would know. what would yeah. what would be a good story for Alexis and Anna? You know, I you know, I'm always telling, you know, I think you know, one thing like I would love General Hospital to go back to is is to the core families. And I think they should bring out, you know, bring the Cassidines and all the Scorpios and kinda kinda go back to that, kind of into the history of the show and and somehow get those two together in that way. So mm. yeah, I'm not really sure specifically but but I think that would be good. And you're both mothers. <laughs> right. So yeah, that yeah. would be another another good way of bonding. It would be but a yeah. great way to bond. Yeah, that would yeah. be a good way to bond. I did have one question for you. I you've always I actually first saw you on All My Children as well. I'm also a YouTuber that kind of went back to see some mm-hmm. of your old um, General Hospital stuff. But you've always reminded me of Diana Rigg. And I was just wondering if you ever watched any of the old Avengers. The Br- I the saw British them all. I saw them when I was growing up. I saw them yeah. all, every single one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad, yeah. So I you was always ab- reminded me of her. Oh, really? I was obsessed with Diana Rigg. I thought she was just <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, yeah. one time when I was a little girl, I was really little, and and we, I I I saw her. I met her. Um, and uh, oh, really? you know, I was, cool. yeah, I was very small. I was really tongue tied, and and I just remember that she was wearing like a mini skirt and some tall white socks, and like sort of, she was just uh, she just looked incredible, and she was yeah. I I did meet her. That's yeah. really cool. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome back to VH. I'm so glad you're back. And um, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Awesome. Bye, Pam. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for calling. <laughs> All right. No problem. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's funny oh, for me to hear from people too that you know you talk to on Twitter and you have no idea who that person is in in reality what they sound like. So this right. is new to me to hear some voices too. 
I love I love right. Twitter. I think it's fantastic. You know, uh, hearing from the fans and just talking to people. You know, it's really great. Mm-hmm. It's a really cool way to do it. Yeah, and, okay. and you're good at it too. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> there you go. Three oh five. You're on with Fanola. Go ahead. Okay, they hung up. Three there you go. Three one two. You're on with Fanola. Go ahead. Hey, Doug and Pam. How you know it's Tony from Chicago. Hi, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Hey, Fanola. How are you? Good, thanks. Great. How are you? Um, I'm very good. Yeah, I want to echo all the sentiments about uh, you. We love your character, Anna Devane. We're also on General, on General Hospital and also on All My Children. Yeah, I was on All My Children fan, too. I will admit. <laughs> okay, cool. That's great. I, I will admit. Hey, I saw some scenes recently that you did with uh, not only with Tony Gary, but also with Robin Manson, who mm-hmm. recently came back to play the show, Header. Um and you know, there's a session about Heather having this session about Luke and Anna being her friend has to try to try to protect him somehow. Is she gonna do be able to protect him from Heather? Uh, am I gonna be able to protect um, Is she gonna be able Luke? to protect him? From yeah, from right, Heather? From Heather. Yes, from Heather. Oh gosh. I don't no, but, that's a good question. She's she's crazy. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean I might yeah, I mean that that would or is he going to be able to protect me from her? Because she's coming after That's me, That's probably too. more like it. Yeah, I don't know. She's <laughs> certifiable. Yeah, she's certifiable. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, um, I, I think, uh, yeah, that story is, is uh, maybe going to need... I don't know what's going to happen in that story, but, uh, yeah. We've got to watch our backs. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny. And, then my, and I know the my thing about this, and we mentioned All My Children. I know you worked on All My Children at the time, but did you know Robin Matson used to work on All My Children, too? Yeah, she was, she was there when I got when I got there first. Janet yeah. from another Janet, planet. Do you Janet, see his oh, yeah, theme right. going? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Janet. She was still, there. Th- right, and you know the ironic thing is I met Robin Matson some 17 years ago at the Taste of Chicago when she was on All My Children. Right. Oh cool! Yeah, I, wow. I got a photo. I got a photograph of her and me. Uh, still, I still have it, and I sent it to her. I sent them copy to her. I know. I know she got it a long time ago, but I still got one about her. I saw that on that day. It was an amazing time I had, and uh, until we talked about the show, talked about the characters and all that, it was a wonderful day I saw her. So I wonder if she. Great. So, so I wonder if she remembers. So if you see her, tell her that her taste Chicago friend Tony says hi. I will. <laughs> I'll tell her that. I'll tell her that. <laughs> All right. I'm going right. to head out Thank now, you. so I'm going to let you guys see some more callers. I'll talk to you guys soon. And be on thanks a lot. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Tony. Tony. Bye-bye. All right. Now, Here. he's from my neck of the woods, but I don't talk as fast as he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's see if we can get another one in. Area code 416. You're on with Fanola. Go ahead. Hi, Fanola. This is Tina from Toronto. Hey, Tina. Hi. Hi. No way. How yes. are you? I'm doing Tina, fine. Tina? I'm doing great. Hmm? Oh, great. Oh, great. It's so nice to hear from you. Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, I'm I'm happy to, to uh, see you back on GH. I'm very happy enjoying to see it? Anna back on there. Great. And Thank you. Yeah, you've been great. I'm telling you, your scenes, every every one of them has been great. Oh, well, okay. that's very nice. I just wanted to tell you that. Um, okay. I have a question. Yes. Um, do you think that Anna and Luke will get together? I don't know. I don't know what they have planned. You know, they're, it's it's um, very different, though, the way that things are, are over at um, yeah. you know, General Hospital. Now, they're keeping things I love pretty close together. together. You guys have been you great do? together. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah, really they're not. Do. They're not giving giving. And I know stuff. Jeannie's on the Y and R because I watch the Y and R as well. So and she's okay. doing fine there. So. <laughs> need, so you're not I worried mean, about Luke her. needs somebody. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So. And, and not what do you her. think? Of, what do you? Sorry. What do you yeah. think about that? But what I do you think, think about should, that? About you and Luke. Mm. I think you should get together. Oh, because okay. I like you guys together. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Because it's like a friendship, and a friendship could be become more, right? Yeah. And yesterday, yeah. when uh, Carly was uh, trying to make Luke pay his bill, I was hoping mm. Anna would come out of her bedroom and throw her purse at Carly. <laughs> 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 nah. 
Mm. Anyway, I, I also heard that you're directing. You're going to be directing. Oh, Is I just true? did a play. Yeah. You I did You did the play? It. Yeah. But yes, I, I, I heard that you're it. going to be directing at one at the uh, community theater in yes, Santa Barbara. That's right. Community Film Studio of Santa Barbara. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Uh, so the first... Uh, yeah, but we're hoping to do our first project this year, so this summer. So you yes, think you'll be competing actually, with Kim? <laughs> Pardon? Will you be keep competing with Kim? No, but I certainly will be asking her for advice. <laughs> for advice? <laughs> yes, for sure. Well, I'm, I'm yes. hoping, I'm wishing Kim luck, and uh, maybe you know, in a couple of years, she'll be up there with her first Oscar. <laughs> As a director. Uh, yes, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. That'd be With you starring yeah. in her movie, right? Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, anyway, I just lovely wanted to, to say hi you. and that we're all watching for you here. Cool. Thank okay. you so much. And, uh, thank you. And we'll, we'll keep watching. Well, thank and you. I'll just thank let you. some other callers come, up, come in. Okay. All right. Thank okay. You. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bye bye. I have a quick question. You tweeted out that you just recorded for Beware the Batman coming out mm-hmm. in 2013. So that's a cartoon. Yes. yes. For, for you did a voiceover or? Yes. I'm playing uh-huh. playing a character on it. Yeah. That yeah. sounds pretty neat. I love doing that. I've 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 done a few of them. You know. Again, yeah. Really. Uh, it's You've a, done the fun... Superman ones that I've seen. That's right, Superman, and also um, I think I did, uh, what's the Scooby-Doo? I've done some Scooby-Doo's. Oh, yes, yeah. you did, yes. Mm. And um, Pocahontas, I think, and some other things, different things, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I know our hour is up, but do you want to okay. take one more call before we go? Or, oh, I'd or, love to, or, sure. Let's okay, take another call. because uh, there's a lot of people on hold, but I know we only, you know, we only have an hour. So, um, area code 973, this will be our last call of the night. Hello. 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 Hi, this is Kathy Fink from New Jersey. Hey, Kathy. Uh, I'm so thrilled to be talking to you. You don't know. And I'm so happy to have this um, phone block here. I think it's fantastic that we can talk to the soap stars. Thank you. Yes. And I've, I've been watching you forever. Oh, Since gosh. I watched the general hospital even before you came on the show with my mother. Oh, great. And I'm so thrilled to have you back. Thank you. Thank you very much. And... um. Do you like the the new writers from Oh Angeles? yes, yeah, I think they're great. Yes. Yeah. they're awesome, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like the whole direction of the show. I think. It's yeah, good. yeah, uh, it's it's going in in a, be, in a better way. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Good. Yes, I yeah. do. And I was just watching um, General Hospital on Soapnet and listening to your calls, trying to <laughs> keep up. Oh my gosh! So you you, you had surround sound like uh, soap from every direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, I have another a question. Would you ever consider going on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, it's so funny. Some yeah. Well, you know, I don't know that they would ask me, but I love mm. this. You know, I mean, it's it's a it's a fun show to watch. Yeah. And, I, and I've certainly watched when I have, you know, friends that go on there. Um, yeah. But. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think they should I'm ask. Not you. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it was great talking to you. Very uh, nice to talk to you too. And I love your very work. Nice. Thank you so much. That's about. Thank you very much. That's nice. You're thank welcome. You. And thank, thank you, you for calling. calling in. Oh, thank you. You're okay. welcome. Thank thank you I you actually watched that special it. last night. Um, the special on Dancing with the Stars, with, uh, yeah. where. Cameron, uh, I think it was the 2020, Cameron Matheson was going around yeah. talking to everybody yeah. backstage. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good night, too, with the Motown music. Yeah, yeah, that was great. God, they must have been so yeah. exhausted. Oh, I, mm-hmm. I can imagine. Well, uh, we're gonna, we'll are gonna wrap up for you. Um, okay. You can get to that manicure that your daughter is waiting for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but we would love to have you have you back on uh, near you know in the fall so we can catch up with uh, what's going on in Fort okay. Charles and uh, great and, uh, we really we really appreciate it Pam would you like to add anything before we close Thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing this for us Oh please and for the fans Thank you so much Really uh, I mean, and I want to go ahead I, I was going to say really we love you so much so 
and I think that was <laughs> that was said by many people. So it is so true. Well, thank you, and I'd like to say thank you for everybody that um, you know listens to the show and to and that watches General Hospital, and uh, we, you know we're very happy that you're you're all staying on board. Um, Definitely, it means you know, a lot to us too. We're, we'll do whatever it takes to get you not only just renewed for a year, but another year and another year, and we're going to keep you. We're going to do everything possible to keep you guys uh, around because we, you know, they can't wipe out a a a, a time period from all of us, you know, that, you know, there used to be a time when there was 13, 17, you know, soap operas on, and, you know, right. they, they can't replace history, history with reality shows. Yeah, it's a cheaper way to go, but you're you're, you're tearing people, you know, lives apart, because we, we've grown up with these characters, and you guys are like our extended family, so, you know, it's like we're mourning, like a funeral, per se, when, when a show's no longer with us, and we're not going to let that, you know, ever happen for General Hospital, so... Thank you so all much right. for being with us. Well, thank you, Doug, and thank you very much, Pam, and You're thank welcome. you to all your listeners. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect. Have and a we good will night. Talk to you on, we'll talk to you on Twitter, and we'll have you back in the fall. Okay, great. You have a great thank night. You. Okay? Thank you. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, wow. What a tremendous woman she is. Wow. Just awesome. I, I well, really have no words to describe how I feel right now. I mean, oh, it's well, just... That much I know, it means that much to me. I know it's a dream for you. Um, I, I kind of feel that because I don't have that 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 history with the show. I mean, I know I've known who she is for many many years, but I never. And I really feel bad that it took the soap being killed off for me to take an interest in ABC. I was just always so loyal to CBS. So yeah, when I'm when we have CBS people on, I'm a, you know I'm a lot more excited. But I, getting to hear like getting to hear the the non CBS stars, I'm really it's just it's just interesting. I could listen to anybody talk and it's just interesting to hear their life and 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 surprises like i was so shocked and happy that ian was able to call in tonight that was that was great oh yeah yeah i was wondering if he got my message because you know you just you put it out there in twitter you tell them you got a message but you don't know if they're ever going to see it or if they'll see it too late and i'm just so happy he did yeah well, I, I can tell from the fans in the chat room. I've been, I mean, it's so nice now that I'm able to watch the chat room. The, the, she's really like daytime royalty on ABC, and it's just, mm-hmm. it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we, that you were able to set this up for the fans and for yourself. So I'm sure this really feels good uh, to be able to spend the, the hour with Finola, and, uh, and uh, I'm just so glad that we have this platform. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, day two of a four day week. Our, you know, we've been doing four day weeks for about a five weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, so if you're still listening, and I hope you are, we, we do our little after show every every day uh, that we do a show. We do our after show since we don't do our weekend reviews anymore. So, um, for any Young and Restless fans that are listening, tomorrow night we have Michael Damien. He's coming back to our show. Uh, he was uh, my third guest when we first started the show with uh, Joyce and I. So it'll be it'll be Pam's first time being with him. So we're going to be just really, I mean, not really an interview, but we're just going to be chatting, talking, talk about Genoa City, you know, things that are happening with him and Christine coming back, and then talking about his new film that he's uh, premiering at the uh, Newport Beach Film Festival, which is called Flicka Country Pride, which is the third in the series. And then he's got a new project that's going to be taking him over, overseas, so he will uh, be... Uh, away for a while, so he's going to be uh, here. We're going to be giving away uh, free CDs, uh, three of them, and also a signed DVD of Country Pride, uh, like a Country Pride um, signed as well. So one winner will get that. And if you're in the Newport Beach area, or Orange County, or SoCal, um, and you want to go and see his new film, we're giving away tickets tomorrow. I think we're giving away five. So if there's any listeners, hopefully I can get five listeners from the so- SoCal area so we can give those away, and you'll be able to meet him as well while you're there because he'll be there um, at the premiere. So. That would be an amazing experience. So that, I wish we were in LA. We've had so many, we have so many opportunities awaiting us once we're rich enough to get out to LA. So yeah, <laughs> I mean we've we've got dinner and drinks and movie invites and uh, yeah, let's go hang out invites from different cast members and we're gonna hold them up to all that because we're gonna get out there. One, one of these days we are definitely. Yes. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, come come and uh, check us out tomorrow for that. And then Thursday we're having our first web series guest on. We have Cheeks on with us, who is also known as Brad Bell. But if I put Brad Bell on there, everybody would think that we had Brad Bell from The Bold and the Beautiful, which we don't at this time. And so uh, he is, uh, his name is, he goes by Cheeks. A lot of people of Adam Lambert fandom know him. 
uh, and he's got his album out, and um, he's also got the new series called Husbands. You can follow at Team Husbands, and you can uh, go and watch the first season. It takes about 20 minutes to watch the first season, which is really not that much, and you can get, get caught up, and you can come listen to us. We'll be at a special time at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, 7.30 Pacific uh, that night. Um, we can announce, but we don't have dates, but we can announce that we have two Days of Our Lives cast members joining us, uh, hopefully in May. We uh, we uh, are very excited to announce that Chandler Massey will be joining us, who plays Will Horton on Days of Our Lives. And we have the another wait, accent wait, that we Wait, wait, wait. Put- Let me preempt this one. This is mine. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have another accent joining us, Mr. James Scott, who plays E.J. Demira on Days of Our Lives. He will be joining us as well. We're getting dates. We're working with them both currently at this time. And you can thank Lauren Coslow, who plays Kate Demira, for helping get them on the show. So I'm very, very excited about that. So, um, And I just got are- a yes from Lindsay Hartley from All My Children and Passions and whatever else she played on, but we don't have a date for that yet either. Yeah, so we're coming for you. So uh, definitely check out the soapseries.com. Um, I've updated it. We moved to a new server, and we're at a new site. Uh, it's very easy to maneuver. Everything you need is pretty much on the right-hand side. Our upcoming schedule is linked, so you can just click the link, and bam, you're right there on the web page to listen. If you've missed a show, it's right below it under archive shows. You can listen to any of the shows. We've done about 25 so far. Uh, and they're up on there. Um, just the special guest shows are up there. We've done quick links as well for other things that we're supporting and promoting. Um, fans who are uh, soap opera fans may know um, a guest that we're having on Sunday. His name is Nelson Branco. He has uh, a weekly ebook that he comes out with called Soap Opera Uncensored. Uh, he gets, he's going to be with us this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Pacific, and he'll be uh, talking about his new book that he's got, I think, a tribute book about One Life to Live, as well right. as talking about some insider scoop on the soaps, and then just uh, talking in general and try to you know, get to know how he got into this uh, field and stuff. So I'm really excited about uh, him joining. And uh, and if that wasn't enough, next week we have a, you know, a great uh, lineup as well. Uh, May 1st, which is Tuesday, we're starting out, kicking out uh, May with Days of Our Lives star Patrick Muldoon. Tuesday, yeah. we have Trisha Cast, who plays Nina Webster on Young and the Restless, who many of you have grown up with her. And then uh, Thursday, uh, the third, we have Texas Battle, who plays Marcus Forrester on The Bold and the Beautiful. So we're going to be covering many uh, shows that uh, next week. Um, we still have August, um, April 30th open, and we, we may be having Adrienne Franz back for our one-hour interview with her, who plays Amber Moore on The Bold and the Beautiful. So, um, yeah. I think I mean that's 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 plenty to keep you busy. So if you, yeah. uh, if, you if you don't remember everything I just said, just go to soapseries.com. Over on the right hand side is everything that you'll need, um, every link that you'll need. I think that's about. I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, we were featured once again today on Blog Talk Radio for tonight's show. Uh, we were also featured last night for Catherine Oxenberg and Casper Van Dien, which was a great interview. So if you missed it, definitely check that out. And we're being uh, promoted or uh, featured as well tomorrow for Michael Damien. So that's exciting uh, that we're we're getting out there. And we ended up in the Sacramento Bee, which yeah. is the on- <laughs> online mag- I mean online newspaper for Sacramento. We ended up on their website uh, in the entertainment section uh, as well. So that was kind of cool. I put the link out there. That's pretty. That's pretty crazy. That I mean, yeah. we're, in, we're we're in Chicago, but or you know or you're in Chicago. I'm, I might yeah. say we're in Chicago because I'm just three hours away. But yeah, it was really really cool. So um, and we got other guests that we've got working up uh, for you. Uh, don't want to say any names yet until we got confirmation. But there's some good right. ones coming from all four soaps. And uh, so yeah, that's about it. Anything you want to add before we go? Uh, well, everybody's telling us how we rock and how good we are. And let me tell you, you guys are, have supported us so much that you all rock. Yeah, we love yeah, all yeah. of you, and we've had people tweeting to the stars and you know backing us up and asking for them to come on our show and stuff like that. So we love all of you too. Yes, yes. I can't even tell you how much mm-hmm. it means. What, what it means to me when I read the tweets that we get and to the soap right. series, and I retweet them out so that list that followers. 
can see that hey, we're you know we're doing a good thing here. You might want to check us out. So I mean, thank you for all the tweets. Uh, I, I I mainly do all the tweets from the soap series, and Pam uh, does uh, the promotion from her tweets. So I always retweet them, and uh, she retweet you know she tweets as well. And uh, we're growing. We're 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 uh, you know we're our our uh, total listens has you know reached almost ten thousand five hundred uh, within four and a half months, and and. Uh, you know, our Twitter's growing and Facebook's growing, and it's just it's really, really awesome. And we have an ad on Facebook right now, which is helping us promote our Facebook fan page, and it's really exciting. I'm really, really excited to see how this is going, and um, I hope it lasts forever. Um, but right now, we can only enjoy the moment, and I'm excited to have Pam on with me. I'm blessed to have her because she's she's got the passion that I do, and she, you know, bringing her ABC passion in with my CBS passion and a little. Splash yeah. <laughs> of D- uh, NBC, then you know we're we're covering all the bases. And you well, know, we bad like we I didn't said a million times, we work well together because you're so technical with the website and everything, and I get all the tweets out and everything like that. So yeah, yeah. we work well together, and I come up with yes. ideas. So and then I put you to work. <laughs> yes, yes, we do make a team. One day we'll be together, and maybe we'll be able to have a TV show or. A, or a web series show, which would be really awesome, is to be able to, you know, do these online so people can see the stars and all that kind of stuff. So we can dream. Who knows what it can turn into. But for right now, we enjoy bringing you um, all the stars. So if you want somebody on our show, let us know. Tweet us at the Soap Series. Uh, go to our website. Leave them a comment on our page. You know, whoever you want, we go and we research how we can find and get a hold of them. Uh, you know, I can just be, you know, completely honest. Some people just say no, and uh, we've been really right. blessed that we've had everybody nearly we've asked say yes, but there has been some that say no that they're not interested. So, um, but that doesn't or they're stop too us. busy. They're, they're too busy, or you know, the studio won't let them do any interviews and that kind of thing. So we we hear of different you know different situations that come up, and we respect that. But the talent pool is so huge with having you know even the uh, canceled four soaps uh, to to pull from. Uh, for fans of As the World Turns, um, get, we're going to have Michael Parks on, who played Jack Snyder. Uh, he and I are working on a, on a date for May as well, because he's on a he's on a play right now. So I mean, there's there's so many people that you know we really want to touch the soaps that are off the air now to show them how much we love them and we miss them, and you know to connect them with the fans as well. So anybody from any of the soaps that you uh, want to you want us to be on, then just let us know. So uh, right. thank you for a great turnout tonight. This is one of our uh, biggest turnouts that we've had in the chat room, and it was really great to see everybody so interactive as well. And I'm glad you got to see it. I'm the I one know, usually I'm so in happy. the chat room, so it's great that you yeah. got to, and I want to give a shout-out yeah. to our, our secret friend for that. Yes, our, our secret friend. Yes, we have a, a we have a blessed fan that uh, donated a laptop uh, as a gift for me to be able to do more for you guys, and I'm really blessed for that. So, I'm, yeah. so they're listening, and I appreciate them more than they can realize. Right. So, again, thank you for tuning in to Finola Hughes. Tomorrow's Michael Damien. Don't miss out. Rock on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, definitely. Uh, and uh, um, maybe, we can, we, maybe we can get him to sing a little bit. You know, I hope little, so. A little, little something-something. Um, so, yeah. Good night, everybody, and we will talk to you very, very soon. The chat room stays open, so you guys can keep chatting. There's still, like, a bunch of you in there, so you guys can keep chatting. So, uh, good night, Pam. I'll talk to you on Twitter, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Good night, Doug. Good night, everyone. God bless. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather. He's probably the, um, I think, um, the national. I think he might head up the national now in, in London. Um, and he gave each of the cat because he directed Cats, the the original cast in, in in London. And he gave each of us, you know, sort of a character to play. And I think the moment when I was like, oh my god, I, after this, I want to 
become. I want to go into drama. I want to, I want to be an actress. Um, he gave just three words to describe a character. He whispered them each into each of our ears. And from those three words, you had to build a character. You had to make this cat. I mean, ostensibly, we were, you know, making characters, but they were mm-hmm. going to be cats, <laughs> which is sort of ridiculous. But um, anyway, it, it was just that moment of thinking, oh, gosh, how interesting to sort of go into your head and make a character out of, you know, three words that, sort of uh, sum up who you're going to be. The, this is the nucleus of, of, what, of what this person is going to be. And, and it was just really interesting. And, and I think from that moment on, I was like trying to figure out ways to, to bring that more into my life. So, and then, you know, after that. And then it went from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've been very successful at everything you've done. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, thank you very much. You're welcome. And the, and the, the fanboy in me who loves Charmed was also very much uh, surprised when you joined the cast as the witch's mother. Um, that was mm. that had to be that had to be an you know, awesome and experience as well working with those three. Yeah. As, well, as that well. was all actually, but coming from Aaron Spelling, that was actually coming. Mm-hmm. I was that was after Pacific Palisades, and they'd worked with me, mm-hmm. um, we, 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 and that was, uh, I believe. Um, one of his shows, or 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 somebody uh, was working on that show that had been on Pacific Palisades, and so they just asked me. They they thought I looked like all three girls, the original three girls. Um, yeah. Uh, they thought that I sort of was like a culmination of all three of them. So, um, yeah, and I wish I could have done more, but I went then to New York to do all my children. So it was kind of hard flying backwards and forwards. I think I might have done a few more had I not been in New York. Um, but I love that show, and the girls are fantastic. The girls were so great; they were just they're just lovely, lovely girls. All of them, all four of them, and Rose, you know, I still see every now and again because she's a very smart girl. Actually, they all are very, very smart, really, really intelligent actors and women. Yeah, nice, great. Mm-hmm. And we still see them in a lot of things these days, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they. they yeah, I, I think they Rose should, is fantastic. Should. Yes, she's really. Yeah, she's quite something, Rose. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, and I have and, uh, some okay, questions okay. from okay. Okay, Twitter. Good. From Twitter. Um, Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Welcome to the Soap Series. This is your host Douglas and my co-host and sidekick Pam. Pam, welcome tonight. Thank you, Doug. And what's with the Douglas? Oh, I don't know. I just decided to be. I I just felt like being professional. You said you need to be professional, so I was like, okay, I'll just use Douglas. (laughs) Anyway, thank you so much, listeners, for joining us tonight. We have a treat for you. We have Sonola Hughes on the phone. Welcome, Sonola. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello, Douglas. (laughs) (laughs) He always goes by Doug, and then all of a sudden he flips in the Douglas. Hey, Pam. <laughs> Hi. It's a pleasure having you with us today. We have Thank you. so many people in the chat room listening, and they all said hello. Oh, hi, chat room. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, definitely thank you so much for uh, for coming on our show. Uh, we've been doing this sure. for about four or five months now. Uh, Pam and I okay, great. teamed up together to bring passion and show the passion of soaps and the fans how much we love the soaps and uh, we thought we would uh, see if we can bring the soap stars to the, the fans and we've uh, done we've done really well. We started out with CBS shows and then, then we are slowly bringing in the um, General Hospital and Days of Our Lives now and just, just we're just building a soap nation so um, we're, we're just going to, we're not going to let anybody else leave the network. Great. Soap Nation yeah. it so, is. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. first and foremost, <laughs> congratulations on General Hospital being uh, renewed, uh, extended. So we're very, very happy yeah. about that, right, Pam? Yes. Yes, I'm ecstatic, especially since I I watched all the ABC soaps for as long as I can remember, and losing two of them is very heartbreaking. And believe me, the fight's not over for that, but we are fighting very hard to keep General Hospital. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Um, yeah, it was really heartening and fabulous to hear that we were, we've been, you know, we're staying for at least another year. And um, mm-hmm. but of course, you know, after I just signed a contract, it was fantastic. I was, uh, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, I'd have been walking around Burbank with a contract in my hand, yeah. you know, <laughs> and nowhere to go. <laughs> yes, like they say, what good does that little paper do you? Yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's great that we we all get to play for a little longer, and um, yeah, I mean it's it's gotten pretty serious. So uh, and I and I think that Frank and Ron uh, really take it seriously, and they're really uh, coming up with some fantastic stories to um, keep everybody interested, and and also so that the network sees that really it's a it's a fantastic show, and. Um, and it's viable and uh, and should be kept on the airwaves. Exactly. It's it's definitely kept us on our toes since they both were brought on with all the storylines, and it's a faster-paced uh, show now, as well as seeing our beloved characters from back in the day back on our screens. I mean, that means so much to me. My gosh. Yeah, they're weaning us out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I love it. I really do. I mean, that was my my favorite time of GH was with you and Tristan and and Tony Geary and Jeannie Francis and all of them. So it's just wonderful. Even even Heather Weber. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> yes, that's uh, definitely uh, um, yeah. I, I think I called her mad as a bag of rats. Yeah, yeah I think she's pretty crazy. Um, but you know, I mean, the show is so uh, is so um, interesting, and the the characters that it has on there now, you know, all the the right. different um, the different facets of it, and and I think what um, what Frank and Ron have really tried to do is to cross everybody over, so that mm-hmm. there's not just you know you don't just have like the bad guys over here and and the hospital here and and uh, they're they're really doing a great job of of everybody being intertwined. And um, you know, and I, and I think that that's what makes a fantastic show uh, across the board. You know, not just soaps, but I think in, right. in every um, genre is is the the relationships between all the characters and being mm-hmm. able to exploit that and explore it and and um, <clears throat> you know, making surprising things happen between people and and everybody that you come in contact with on the show every time you you, you um uh t- come across somebody else a character that you might not have ever really played with before you know you have to have a relationship with them and you've got to come up with something and you've got to you know have a point of view and i think that's really exciting because it means that um just any anyone you know i could i could play a scene with kate which i haven't even met yet you know when it would be mm-hmm. So interesting to see what what Anna would think of Kate and vice versa, um, or even you know um, uh, some of the doctors at the hospital. Just whatever. I mean, I think that that's what makes it, uh, a show really exciting. Yeah, it is. It is instead of just you know going into one couple or one storyline at a time and well, everybody. Just, in you know, the, the, those wheels just keep turning and they're the same old wheels. Whereas this mm-hmm. way, you sort of. To, to continue the metaphor, the cogs kind of roll over into another wheel altogether, and then, then it becomes more interesting. Right. Um, yeah. So, what's it like well, shacking up with Tony Geary? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have separate rooms. Not yeah. Happy now. <laughs> yeah, I love Tony. I've always adored Tony. He's 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 fantastic. He's a great great person. So. It's really nice. Well, I'll, have to, I can say that. I'll have to be really honest and tell you that I grew up with uh, CBS soaps. It was a generational thing with me as well as a lot of fans who, you know, grew up, you know, whatever their gr- grandmother and, and mother uh, was on uh, that watched. So when I started this show um, with Pam, and Pam is a big ABC fan- fanatic, I said, okay, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch General Hospital now, and I'm going to, you know, educate myself. So I'm, I'm a new fan, but I, now that I am a fan, okay. you are, you are okay. my, my favorite. Favorite on there. I enjoy your scenes so much, and you, 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 and um, um, uh, Robin's character who plays uh, Heather Weber both just entertain me to death. Oh, I know. And the, and the, chemi- oh, and really? the chemistry between Gosh. you and Tony Geary, who plays Luke, is just so comical. There's there's so much comedy relief there mm-hmm. as well, and it's it's nice to see that in daytime as well. 
you know, not not all the psychos and twins and all these other stuff. It's nice to see comedy right. as well. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm a new fan, so I'm doing. I'm going on YouTube okay. and watching some of the older stuff, so I can kind of get familiarized with it because I want to be a supporter all the way, you know, all the way through. The okay, well then well. I'll I'll apologize for all my hairdos now. Then if you're going on on <laughs> yeah. YouTube and looking at the old, yeah, because um, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> They weren't uh, that bad. Oh, you were in style with everybody else, so you were okay. Oh God! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, it was the the poof, the the hair poof that launched a thousand bride bride outfits. I think that that sort of poof that I used to wear on top of my head. I think yeah. brides across the the, the nation had their hair like that in the eighties. Um, I was going to say, but the CBS shows are so great too. I mean, you know, I have a lot of friends on those shows. Um, you know, um. Obviously, Susan Flannery on, mm-hmm. and um, and then hey, don't bring her in here. Out, and then that's right. It's my dog coming in, and um, uh, and then also we see M- Michelle Stafford on on um, the YNR. So I yeah. love those shows too. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were friends with Michelle. I knew about Susan, but not. Uh, oh yeah, I did Michelle. a show with her. I did a show with her called um, uh, Pacific Palisades. Uh, it was a oh, I love that girl. Show. and we uh, became fast friends. She's a fabulous girl. She's fantastic. Yeah. So anyway. I knew I came across knowing who you were when um, in Staying Alive. So this goes way back mm-hmm. to the early eighties. Um, Not that far role. back. <laughs> just a, just a couple of years. Um, <laughs> your, your 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 role as Laura was was awesome. I was so glad they were able to uh, you know make a sequel to Saturday Night Fever and. And 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 that's where I first came across too. And I love that movie. It's uh, um, you know, those two movies back to back are really wonderful. How did that? Uh, how, what was that like working with uh, John Travolta? Oh, that was great. He's a fantastic person. You know, he's a really class, real class act. Um, he was extremely kind to me, uh, and sort of took me under his wing. You know, it was the first time I've been here to America, and um, yeah, I mean. You know, I was playing the bitch. What's not to like about that? Fantastic. <laughs> and I actually had just finished. I think I was, was working with Andrew Lloyd Webber in London, and um, I I had done Cats for him prior to that, and then I had done a little movie, and then I'd gone on and done a, a and and I was actually in his song and dance, which was in the West End, and <clears throat> they were auditioning for. They thought, of course, the 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 role of the the bitchy girl should should be British. So they were sort of coming over and seeing if there were any British girls uh, that they thought might fit the bill. And then I, I flew to um, Hollywood to audition uh, with John. And um, I mean, can you imagine? That was yeah, that was kind of mind-boggling. Yeah. Um, and and that was it, you know. And I got, I got that role. And um, and then I came back and stayed after that. Now, so were you I like a dancer the before then? Before oh yeah. The movie? Yeah, that's uh-huh, what I thought. Yeah, I'd been a dancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been a dancer since I was about three, and uh, and I've gone to one of those, you know, terrible uh, schools where everybody dances on the table at lunchtime. Like, <laughs> not really, but you know, it was like one of those. Yeah. And uh, uh, like Lee, yeah, I went to school like, and so, um, yeah, and uh, so I've been dancing forever. Did you want to be a dancer or an actress or both? Or yeah, I wanted to be a dancer at first. Um, but when I was at the, when I was in my, you know, school, they, there's a point where you have to choose. Like I think it was when we were fifteen, sixteen. You had to choose which side of the college you wanted to go into. You either went to the ballet side or, you know, modern dance or whatever, or you went into the acting. You, you know, you, had to, you went to the, the drama side. And the drama teachers wanted me to go there. Well, there was one in particular. But um, I just felt if I didn't do, if I didn't dance first, then I'd never get it out of my system. So I sort of thought, I, I just have to do it now. And then I went into a ballet company after, you know, when I gra- when I left, when I graduated, you know, three or four years later. Um, so I went straight into a ballet company, and I just always felt like I needed to do that first, um, because it was it made, you know, it, it, dancing is just such an amazing um, 
fe- feeling, and it's an amazing, you know, dancers are just an incredible sort of species, if you like, and ballet dancers in particular. Um, mm-hmm. They're just, just so perfect, and it was really hard for me to stay in that because it's too perfect for me, and I, you know, I was a bit all over the place. But um, And then after that, I went into musicals and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and then actually, I think it was Andrew Lloyd Webber, Oh no! It was uh, sorry. It wasn't Andrew Lloyd Webber. It was it was Trevor Nunn. Um, he's the he used to be the director of uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company, and now the.